As the United States marked 100 years in existence, a new sentiment arose among Americans to connect with its founding history. In the spring of 1876, Philadelphia hosted the Centennial Exposition, which helped give rise to an era of colonial revival. Patriotic organizations began to form, including the Sons of the American Revolution, in 1889. The following year, the Sons voted to exclude women from the group, galvanizing a force for the creation of a new women's organization. Mary Smith Lockwood wrote in a letter printed in the Washington Post detailing the legend of Hannah Arnett, who in 1776 courageously prevented a meeting of men from proclaiming loyalty with the British. Lockwood wrote, Were there no mothers of the revolution? Where will the sons and daughters of the revolution place Hannah Arnett? Mary Smith Lockwood's letter would be a catalyst for action. William O. McDowell, founding member of the Sons of the American Revolution and great-grandson of Hannah Arnett, was immediately moved. He penned a response calling on women to form their own organization. Gatherings were held at various private residences throughout the summer of 1890 between the lead organizers, Mary Smith Lockwood, Eugenia Washington, Mary Deshay, and Ellen Harden Walworth. The culmination of these meetings occurred on October 11th, with the first organizational meeting with 18 women in attendance, as well as four supportive members of the Sons of the American Revolution, who would act as an advisory board. Also in attendance was Mary Ellett Cabell, who would serve as vice president presiding and whose home would be the first headquarters for the daughters. She would seek out a lady prominent in the United States to serve as the first president general. Caroline Scott Harrison, the First Lady of the United States, would fill that position until her death in 1892. In that first year, membership applications flooded in and fundraising efforts commenced on the first project, to erect a monument in Fredericksburg, Virginia, to mark the birthplace of Mary Washington, mother to George Washington. On February 22, 1892, the First Continental Congress was held at the Church of Our Father in Northwest Washington, D.C. As Ellen Hardin Walworth would write in 1893, it is not a social organization. It is an order patriotic, historical and genealogical, and hold itself closely to these objects. This new society would harness a desire for service that would help usher in the progressive era in the United States and create a legacy for future generations of women.